Hi. Hi, everyone. Happy Wednesday. I would say afternoon for us, but depending on where you are, it could be morning, it could be evening. Um, so welcome to our Alexandria Professional Product Awareness Webinar Series. If you recall, those are monthly. And those are led by me, Catherine Toshev. I'm the marketing director working with the team. Uh, but as you also know, Lena is right around the corner and is going to be um, here to answer any questions um, and you know add anything that I may not cover. So that's the team. Today for our topic, uh, we're going to be talking about sugaring problem skin and exfoliation. And in my mind, those two go together because uh, exfoliation happens at many levels and um, it kind of goes with treatments, but also uh, at home um, skin care. So as you know, everything that we talk about, every time we talk about uh, Alexandria Professional, our products, everything is really anchored, rooted in the full circle of skin conditioning. We talk about going beyond hair removal. It's just because Lena has been spending her entire life, career, waking moments, I would say, thinking about how to make things better. Not only remove the hair, but really get to that overall amazing skin condition. And when her and I are talking about this all the time and trying to think about our communication and how we explain and share and educate, we now talk about our goal is really healthy and happy skin. Healthy, why? Because everything is about health in life, really, not just skin. You have to be healthy, same if it's for skin. And when something is healthy, whether it's skin or a person or a pet or anything, they're happy, right? They are kind of going to be happy smiling back at you. So we're really about the full circle of skin conditioning, the overall condition of the skin for that end result of health and happiness. So today on the circle, really quickly, we're going to be touching on sugaring. And then I'm going to talk about exfoliation, which is that little white mount at the bottom. So with that, I will turn it over to Lena, and she can talk about really the sugaring, professional sugaring and problem skin. Thank you, Ms. Catherine. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us again today. So some of you are going to be hearing this for the umpteenth time, and some of you, I noticed there's even more participants today, so I'm very grateful to see that, uh, may not be as aware as as you know, the next person. So why is sugar, why do I believe in sugaring so much for the skin, even forgetting about hair removal altogether? Mainly because it is so super gentle. Yes, sugaring will exfoliate. And my daughters will tell you all the time when my legs are looking aging, they'll say, mom, please, you know, do your ch -ch -ch. clean your skin off. Because as soon as I do it, the skin looks vibrant and healthy again. And we use the word healthy because it's really relevant to everything we're speaking about here today again. So it's, it's probably the most gentle, effective form of exfoliation that you can do to the body. Of course, if you have hair and even vellus hair, it's going to take everything away. But when you have no hair, such as in my case, and you do the sugaring, it's so gentle it feels like just working with velvet on the skin and you can feel exfoliation happening but in a very pleasant way so if you haven't reached that level with your skin yet we need to talk to get you there because once you're there personally on your body you'll you'll be like me people will be able to look at you and feel the energy of truth right so then the other one is that as we all know and i don't want to throw the COVID in because that's an you know, it's not an overkill, it's just there. But even before the COVID, the biggest thing I always talked about when it came to sugaring is that it's a natural antibacterial, meaning bacteria cannot, does not breed in high concentrates of sugar. So we're very lucky that we're working with this product on the skin, again, because of its healthy nature towards the needs of our skin. Natural humectant, it's one of the reasons, one of the reasons we're using it in our facials now, because every step of our little sweet plump facial, very mechanical, is super effective because of the natural glycolic acid factor of the sugar and the natural humectants. So as a facial, it's super, but as a full body part of the conditioning, full circle of skin condi uh, conditioning program, it's excellent. 
And then, you know, you look at this. So that's that's a good point. I'm glad you put this here, Catherine. Alleviate symptoms of uh, you know itchy, flaky skin. Every time you do proper exfoliation, that's what happens. When you're not doing medical, because when you do the medical deep lasers and things, and and I'd like to share my photos with you one day. <laughs> they're pretty scary. Um, you go through an <clears throat> itchy period. But when we're talking about gentle exfoliation, you take that away because you're taking away the dead, sol-looking skin, right? And then, you know, as you keep going over, you're also decongesting the follicles. This is one of my favorite things to help change the tone and texture of our skin. So I thought we can share some examples. So I will flip over to this story because I think it's a nice story. Yeah. So I'm so excited. I just want to share a little side story again. Uh, we're about to hire finally like a licensed esthetician for a studio. We have licensed waxing, but now we're hiring an esthetician because we want to do our facials. But I'm excited because I'm going to start pushing here at our studio um, in the Western New York vicinity, taking care of eczema and psoriasis and keratosis. So not just light exfoliation form, but actually taking care. So this is one woman who suffered. Now, I don't have my glasses on, but is there a way to make that bigger? The one, like the before picture? Mm. When you're looking at this, can you see the thickness of the skin? Can anyone tell me when you're looking at the, the before picture, can you see how thick the skin is? We have these that we're showing you right now available on our marketing portal. I'm yes. assuming you put it there already, right girl? Yeah. Okay, yes. I just want to double check. Oh. And is she saying something? Yes. Good, because I can't tell. So when you look at that, where oh, you only did the 12 weeks, you didn't do the in-between one. When you go to the marketing portal, you'll see in-between photos and right same day sugaring treatment. It looks aggressive. You might look at the before and that second one that's sugaring same day and say, oh, look at how aggressive it looks. It looks vibrant, red, but that's a good sign because they took away a lot of the thickness, extra skin. So we're getting to the more true skin. And then you see six weeks and then the 12 weeks. But here, clearly, between the before and 12 week result, it's 100%. So what you're seeing on the 12 week is hypopigmentation. We did not cause that. That's caused from the natural burning, if you will, uh, of the skin from the psoriasis or even eczema that's natural I have the same thing a hypo I, I can take it down I've shown you before a hypopigmentation where I had um, second degree steam burn on, on my arm and although I got to heal it well with her product especially the phenomenal there's no scarring like this woman but it's definitely hypopigmented now but I'm going to tell you right now I know this woman is no problem having hypopigmented skin with smooth clear skin and no more of her problem, right? I mm -hmm. think that's amazing. And what else do we have? I thought I'll bring this example. Michaela. Okay, okay, a lot of you are already very familiar with Michaela, but if you're not, it's one of my ultimate favorite stories. Um, all of them are heartfelt, and we have children even. But this one, so you see how bad her eczema is on, on the left side, right? And so her story, it's very good. Her story, her mom heard me speaking when I was in Australia. And um, and I talked about, you know, taking care of eczema, psoriasis, and lava, lava, lava. And in the full circle. And she wasn't doing any of that. She was just sugaring, buying her sugar and sugaring. And not doing her daughter because her daughter didn't shave. She couldn't do anything without damaging her skin even further. And, and forget risking shaving or waxing, right? But she was also afraid to sugar her until she heard me speak. And so um, this is the end, end result. There was a result before that, and it was really good. But this one, I think, was about three months out again, and that was her 16th birthday. So she sent me pictures. I have those somewhere on, on, on my Facebook or somewhere where she was in a cute short dress because they said she couldn't go swimming. She didn't like to wear shorts because this is what her legs looked like. And on her 16th birthday, so she was 15 when we started treatments, she wore a beautiful mini dress, a you know, mini skirt dress, and, and just loved to expose her legs. And that's what her legs look like. 
firm like a 16 year old, but look at the skin. That's what a 16 year old should have to begin with. They shouldn't have all these complications on their skin. So that's one of my favorite stories because a year later, this is about a year and a half or so later, I called her and her mom on her show on her sweet talk. So you can see the episode on YouTube. And what I didn't do, and you'll know, but when you look at my face, when I ask the question, I say, so I wanted to ask, and I was nervous because I didn't check beforehand what the answer would be and if I should even ask. So my question was, uh, is your skin still clear? I was so grateful because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to hide it. And she said, yes, 100% clear. So do you think this girl will ever get off of our full circle of skin conditioning program, including the sugaring treatments? I say no, never. I don't think she'll ever risk having that skin again. And that's what you're missing if you're not helping <clears throat> your client, even if they don't have. This is like extreme conditions, and we're good. We're great at taking care of that. But even if they have what you think is more normal skin, just dry skin, some congested follicles, a little bumpy when you run your hand, you know, against their skin, you can turn all that around. That's why we say we improve the integrity of the skin. Go beyond hair removal, that's what it means. Going beyond provides excellent further results to just hair removal and reaching permanent results, right? It improves the skin. That's how you build your strength in your business. Mm -hmm. Great, so that was about sugaring problem skin. Um, I mean, of course, any questions, comments, anything more, uh, please comment on the chat on the right-hand side. What I'll do next is I'm going to talk about our other products, uh, our exfoliating products that we have in our portfolio. So they all work in tandem. We typically organize our products, if you recall from some of my past presentations, around the circles and the colors of our logo. So blue is professional products. Healthy skin products are typically in the blush color. Wellness are green. And there's some combinations such as, say, the travel kit or anything that would combine products together. So when we talk about exfoliation, um, we definitely have a wellness product and a healthy skin product that I'm going to go over. So in the wellness product, I think the most significant product that we have here is Salt Springs. And Salt Spring is just this pure harvested Dead Sea salt that is extremely rich in natural minerals. So it's really that pure salt in the, in the, in the cylinder canister. So if you've never seen it or touched it or tried, that's what it looks like. Um, and it is super versatile. It has so many uses on its own in a bath, for example, like if, you're, if your clients are home or anyone kind of just has that soaking time, which is really amazing to soak in salt and just sort of purge, detox, and really mineralize the skin from head to toe. Well, almost the head is emerged, but kind of like a full body soak. Um, but really, when we think about what can salt do for us, it's a lot of things. So it helps with ingrown problems. It's kind of the first thing we're going to talk about because we're about hair removal, but also body blemishes. Um, and it could be on the face or it could be on the body. And we know that exists. And also that overall improvement of, of the skin texture. So furthermore, this, there's a lot on this slide. And as you know, we shared this. You can go back and look at anything you want. But I kind of kept it because I felt that there's a lot to say. So um, the salts are really good with, again, psoriasis, eczema, but also acne. That's also a skin problem that can be pervasive across the body. It could be taken care of with, um, as I said, a bath, but also through manual exfoliation um, because it's going to reduce the inflammation, detox, control excess sebum in the skin. So that's especially relevant on the face, but some people have oily skin throughout their bodies, kill bacteria and relieve that dry, itchy skin that typically is where the problems of skin are very easily identified, you know, pimples and dry patches. But what I really also like is also going beyond that and talking about cold salt compresses and hot salt compresses, which I thought was pretty cool when I was learning about this product. Um, and I think a lot of, of you will relate to that because, you know, the cold really helps with reactions after sugaring. So what we what we kind of 
call about helping with um, histamine reactions that a lot of clients may have. Um, again, and controlling sort of that uh, excess oil on body parts that are prone to acne. On the hot compresses, those are really good for, um, you know, hormonal hair or facial terminal hair uh, to sort of help before the treatments um, de detox these um, hair follicles and help the extraction. So again, quite versatile, whether it's in the salon use or at home. Do we have some questions, comments? No, no Keep going. Just to get, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So in addition to what I just described, other ways um, we've used it or seen it used, and I'm, I'll be really curious to know if any of you can jump on the chat and share anything else that I might not cover or might not might say, because any success story or any story is great. This is to share. It's not just me talking. So if you have experienced something, seen something, heard something, hey, we love hearing about clients and anybody's experiences, please share. Um, so we also, um, can mix the salts and for that mechanical exfoliation with a restore hydrating lotion to just create more of that creamy, easy to spread, um, sort of that easy to work with consistency on any body part. And also um, as a way to enhance the performance of mud puddle mask. Um, you know, the, the salt will just take extra dead skin or anything else there that will really open up the skin for the absorption of the mud mask. But again, if you've done something or seen something else, I'd love to hear about it. Next, um, the next three products I'm going to talk about in exfoliation are in our healthy skin products. So that's the blush color. And the two stars there that all of you I'm sure know about are the soft smoothie and the sweet cheeks. They just kind of play well together. I will start with the soft smoothie. So just as I was talking about mixing or cocktailing um, the salts, the sort of the raw salts, the salt smoothie is just sort of that simplified, more convenient product that clients would just love uh, if they don't have enough time or don't want to mess of it or are not sure how to mix, how much to mix, and all of that stuff. This is pre-mixed. So what does that mean? Is that in that tube, there the salt spring scrub salts, like I just described them, along with the restore lotion, and that's in one tube. And it just creates that quick exfoliation. But again, all the properties that the salts offer and the restore lotion together. And what I really love about it, because I do this about three times a week, is that you start with dry skin and you kind of rub it in and I can kind of see how it absorbs in my skin. It's extremely visual. It's extremely kind of like, you know, consumers, clients, anybody, they usually like to see results. And when you tell someone, yeah, wait three weeks, sometimes they're like, oh, come on already. I want to see results now. Well, this, you can see it at work right away. So the benefits, I mean, uh, they are what, I, what they are. Um, you know, the whole exfoliation through mechanical, through the salts, the absorption in the skin, the mineralization of the skin, the moisture that comes from the Restore Lotion. It's just that kind of nice, rich, skin conditioning. Um, but I thought that's also interesting that, so if if people go through the process, it takes, you know, a couple of minutes. It's If it's too fast, then you don't get the benefits. So it's really important to share like, you know, take a little bit of time, do it because it's really good for your skin. A little TLC. That's right. Who doesn't want a massage? I mean, honestly, that's how I kind of look at it. Um, especially if you do it on your legs or even feet. And it also brightens tattoos, which I thought was also kind of a nice perk because, you know, People like their tattoos and want them to look good. So this is a product that could enhance them and help them maintain them. So moving on to sweet cheeks. Um, so we talked about salt being an exfoliator. And as you can imagine, the salt grain is a little bit bigger and a little bit maybe feels for some a little harder on the skin. It all depends on how sensitive the skin is. So sweet cheeks is that sugar-based exfoliant. And we typically call it the facial exfoliant, but it could be used in any sensitive area. And much like the salt smoothie, it's a mix. So you have the sugar with the Restore Lotion. So it's kind of similar. It comes in a tube and it's super easy to use. Um, so here we talk about, of course, the delicate facial skin, uh, but 
um, what I really like to think about it is any sensitive area of the body. So then it kind of goes here where if you think about it more as a routine or a way to combine with some of our other products, uh, we can cleanse the face with the Precept Cleanser, follow up with this gentle exfoliation. And it's really sweet because if you kind of like you go to lick it, it's really <laughs> sugar. Shower, yes, yeah. it happened to me so many times. Um, and then you just can still moisturize the skin after that. And as I said, it's great for bikini air, for the bikini area and underarms as well. So quite versatile, it's gentler. Um, so anybody who's not comfortable with the salts is a great option for that. Do we have anything? Uh, yes, someone's asking if sugar uh, in products cause yeast. We don't have that problem. We've never had that problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, moving on. And last but not least, in terms of the product collection, um, I cannot talk about exfoliation without talking about lips. I mean, lips are important. They're a huge focus, especially in the colder months. And we kind of go headed there. So soon, as soon as the cold weather comes, and it comes in different times for different people, that dryness of the skin happens on the lips immediately. So don't forget buff up. Um, She's it's, got the lips, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's another one of those yummy sugar-based exfoliants that we call because they really taste good. So I think yummy works. But aside from just exfoliating, they also have all these rich fruit um, oils and shea butter. So it kind of exfoliates, but in my mind, it, it even goes beyond. So just don't forget that. It's a cute little pot that um, could be added to any exfoliation routine. So that rounds up the products. However, um, I kind of wanted to bring up some of the th other things about Alexandria Professional that sometimes we tend to not maybe talk a lot or at least not at the same time. Um, so in these product awareness webinars, I typically cover something about product, um, whether it's what it is, how to use it, how to combine it with other products, the full circle. Uh, but really, when you think about, if you have to explain to someone why Alexandria Professional, or who is the Alexandria Professional, what do they do? I've never heard about them. You know, There's still a lot of people who don't know about us. Um, I'd like to think about the great quality of our products, but beyond quality, because quality could mean many things to different people, is the idea of like, we have great clean skincare products. And that applies to all, starting from the sugar that you know very well, to every everything else in our portfolio. And what clean means is like free of all the nasties, as Lena often mentions it. But it's like really free of all the bad burdening skin ingredients or toxic, like mineral oil, like sulfates, like, um, Phthalates, I mean, we have a full list and I can share that with you. And this is information that's going to go on our website and other communication. But just keep that in mind when you talk to clients. It's not just the sugar or the service. Everything that we um, have is sort of clean skincare, good for you. And also cruelty-free, vegan, and gluten-free, which are quite important for some clients and some customers out there. Second, um, I hope you've seen it, but in case you haven't, we have partnered with Klarna, um, and that's been a few months now. Um, and that's again, that idea of um, you know, you know, integrity in what we do and helping the community. If you recall when we started these webinars, whether it's my webinars for the product awareness or the educational webinars that Lena hosts, we really wanted to stay connected and help and support. And I think that continues. It's not because you know, a pandemic hit us, I think, a AP has always been that, and we just kind of like to remind everyone. So Klarna is a way to help you, um, you know, still purchase now, but pay later or have some help there. Of course, when we talk about um, revenue or just business management, there is the ambassador program we launched back in April, and it's still live. And that's that extra source of revenue that a lot of you have heard about. Um, we also launched Wow, it's like, when was that? April was the ambassador program. June was the online academy. So we've been busy. So the online academy is anything and everything Alexandria Professional online but education. it's not fully launched yet. Is that correct, right? And not quite fully launched because we had to fix some glitches out of our control, but they're almost done. <laughs> Katie? Yes. <laughs> um, 
But on our website, all of this information is on our website. There is information that you can get on the online academy. And Katie is our um, education queen here in the office, and she'll assist in any glitches, problems, or questions. We also have the rewards program that we completely um, updated and redid. That's also the information is on our website. And we kind of started talking about that, I want to say, two a week ago, two weeks ago. So that's the latest addition to us. Yeah, um, we did the webinar on that last week as well. But I was hoping to get some questions or feedback. But I don't know if anyone who was on the uh, you know, on this, the webinar last week, if you took time to go to view everything in the rewards program, because we haven't received any emails. So I'm just letting you know, if you're waiting for an answer, none of us have seen anything. Remember, email me, ask me, or Katie, whoever you want, anyone here will help. And, um, you know, if we need to have more on any of these topics, we're more than happy to do that. And last but not least is the virtual support. Um, that is always there for you to reach out and um, with anything that you may have. And again, all of these topics are on alexandriaprofessional.com and we're here to support as well. And as we always say, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, join our support groups. Again, the community, the sense of you know sharing. Um, nobody should feel alone or stuck. That's kind of the idea. That's all I had. Okay, um, that's wonderful. Thank you so much, Catherine. Let's go to some of the questions now. Um, so, we'll, yeah, we do send out um, we do send out a follow up email with the link where to get the webinar. Yes. Um, okay. Thank you for all the wonderful compliments, everybody. We appreciate that you appreciate our work. Um, the sugar in okay, we answered that. Okay, how do you warm compresses with the salt? Um, best thing to do is warm water with the salt, let it all melt and put your towel in and then, you know, wring it out a little bit and do it that way. If you're doing a large area and if you're trying to soften, you wouldn't do this after sugaring, guys, so I hope you're not misunderstanding the information. Um, if you're, you know, doing it maybe, like if somebody wants to do it at home to soften the skin cells, especially if they have hormonal hair ingrowns and, and, and hair growth, um, then, and you know, excess dead skin, then maybe um, cotton pad in warm water and melted salt. You don't want to put dead sea salt straight on the skin because it will feel burny and pinchy. But if you soak it in dissolved salt, it'll start to help soften the skin. It's the same when you take a bath as well. Um, you don't want to put an open wound in dead sea salt, right? You will feel it. It'll heal, but you'll feel it. Uh, let me see here. I have to... um, Jill Russell, I guess that's something for you to look at? Yes. Okay. So, Jill Russell, uh, we don't need to repeat your comment. We will look into it to see. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you've got to be certified in order to open um, your <laughs> sugaring account. But you can have a professional account without purchasing the sugar. Correct? Yes. Like, so basically, Katie, what I'm saying is, if she's a professional, she can open a professional account. I'm sorry, I need to get the FYI here, or the 411. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay, so that's that one. And uh, nice compliments. So our salt and sugar are sourced in very good places. How's that for an answer? <laughs> the Dead Sea salt comes from the Dead Sea. <laughs> and I can tell you that the partner we partnered with, we have the highest pure content of Dead Sea salt that you can get. I give you my word, and my word is everything. It's what I live by. And um, the sugar is from American grounds because it's a very tough commodity. Sugar is a whole other world. And we like to know the reliability of the quality we, we order. Um, okay, okay, thank you, Jill. Yeah. Um, Western Canada, I don't think. Oh my God, I should have had my glasses. Oh, you can have access, uh, anyone who is AP certified. So hear me well. If you're AP certified, send a copy of your uh, certificate, just take a snapshot, you know, send it to Katie. 
and she'll get you hooked up on our marketing portal as long as we can verify that you're an active account, okay? And because all the marketing materials are proprietary to AP practitioners. Um, yeah, I, I, I wish everybody would allow, you know, all of our practitioners to have access because there's so much meat and potatoes there for you. Uh, okay. Okay. Salt compresses for plants can fall out with the mud. Oh, thank you. So is that planters, planters war? Is that what that is? That last one? Is that what it says? Um, so, yeah, so someone is sharing, actually, Shannon Gray, hi, honey, um, is sharing that uh, salt compress with, um, um, followed by mud wrap is very good, very good results for that. On that topic of what's really great, I just got another email from our distributor in, 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 in Trinidad. So she gave me a testimonial a few weeks or maybe a couple of months ago, so hard to tell when it was, but in that period about using our essential tonic straight on her cold source, you know, herpes form, right? I, I also suffer from the sun or a fever. I, I get them like that. <clears throat> so she sent me another one. She said, I just wanted you to know, and we're going to share that one. I just wanted you to know that I decided to use it again, just in case it was a fluke. She goes, it healed so fast. It stopped the throbbing and everything. Who knew? Everything we've created over the years, the reason it's evolved and defaulted and so so many ways to heal and make the skin healthier is thanks to all of you because you get a certain confidence. Wow, you know, we've been using it for this and Lena says it does that and somebody else tried, I'm going to try it for this. And so far, it's always come back full force positive. And, and you must share with us because that's how we get to share with everyone else. So now we have another, yet another purpose for the essential tonic. I'm going to make sure everybody knows about that very quickly through Ms. Catherine. Uh, let's see. We have an earlier question from Brittany. Which product would you suggest for men with ingrown hair on the beard? Uh, which what? Which product would you suggest for ingrown hair on the beard? Uh, it, it's it's not just a product. It would be a full circle. So I would have them exfoliate at home with the sweet cheeks. I would have them use the essential tonic restore lotion daily. And I would use the phenomenal at least at night, full force and mud. So do the mud after the exfoliation as Catherine shared and as I've shared with you for dog ears. The full circle is about getting rid of the dead skin so that the mud can immediately be applied and really, you know, be well received by the skin and purge out impurities and squeeze out ingrown hairs and detoxify and also replenish with such important minerals such as silicon dioxide building block of collagen, all that good stuff, right? And when you take that off, either essential tonic and restore or essential tonic and um, phenomenal. I would use phenomenal minimum once a day. If they don't want to put it on in the morning because they find it, you know, a little bit too hydrating for them, um, at the very least at night. And you'll see a change. And then in between, you do light sugaring if they're getting rid of their hair, right? Do the light sugaring, but don't overwork the skin. Because if you overwork the skin because you're so stubborn and you just want to get that last hair, um, then the skin has to keratinize. You know, the dead cells will keratinize faster and harder. And then it just becomes a vicious cycle of thick, dead skin. So don't, don't go down that path of trying to force it to repair itself. We shouldn't have to do that. Is there another one? I'm going to let you read them out loud because yeah, sure. you can read them. <laughs> Lauren was asking if the source of the mud has changed. No, source of the mud hasn't changed, but the last shipment we had, it's so funny you bring that up because we're in the middle of trying to procure several tons now. We used to do one ton at a time. Now we're, we're doing several tons. Um, it hasn't changed, but I'm not going to lie. It was, I know it was more granular. It still works just as well. We've already talked to our source, our supplier, making sure that they go through a stronger sifting process like they did in the beginning years when I used to get it. So yeah, not, nothing, much, but I, I promise you same certification, same location, same value. So if you're finding some granules, maybe like a little sifter, 
you know, it, it's the best I can say, but I use it and I still apply it. You know, and sometimes I'll have to pull out a little piece that I think is a little bit too heavy and, and I still use it. <laughs> the efficacy hasn't changed, but duly noted because I noticed it too. Uh, so uh, the to Canela, uh, Ms. Robinson, um, it's the we're talking about the um, essential tonic for the cold sores. But so that's one. My experience, Cicini, because I feel when the throat. But I, it, when I get another one, I'm going to try the essential tonic so I can say without a shadow of a doubt. Yes, it works. I'm going to go with this woman because she suffers like I do. So, and I've also told her about Cicini because for me, Cicini works as well. But now we know we have two that we can <laughs> use even better. That's why we say share the stories. That's it. Because then we'll tell everybody else. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're all welcome, everyone. I'm so, so grateful that you're appreciating these, these webinars. Makes me feel good. I think looks like that's about it. Mm -hmm. Just making sure that we got all the questions. Question above. Uh, that was answered already. Where were you, Shannon? Taking a break? <laughs> Trying out essential tonic. <laughs> You're welcome, Miss Colleen. Really glad you all enjoyed it. Appreciate your words, Miss Stephanie. I'm getting a question. Where is the salt and sugar source? Oh, I already answered that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> we did that one. Kind of skirted it because, you know, it's our business. <laughs> trade secrets. Yeah, little trade secrets. But I guarantee you, we have the highest content of pure dead sea salt that you can get on the market. Yeah. And you can tell because of how, you know, I think I've shared with you. When you open a jar of salt, dead sea salt, and you breathe in, and it trickles your nose, like you feel pinching, those are chemical additives. When you can breathe it in, the same as fragrances in, in products like that, when you can breathe it in and it just feels fresh, when you breathe ours in, you actually, you actually feel freshness because there's still natural humectants in it. Like there's still natural humidity in it. It's not super dry at all. So I know, I know we have something really good. The only thing is, uh, Lori, um, that's my question. He thought some of it was draining because it was from the bottom. The bottom of what? I assume the container. Her container? Yeah. Oh. oh. Well, maybe maybe they fell down to the bottom over a period of time from weight, you know, like sand or something. Um, but they, they are, it is. And, and we try to catch more of it. Um, I'm just going to make sure the next order is less granular because they still excavate for us in a very old-fashioned way ladies like truly very <laughs> old-fashioned way uh, that's just the way it is in Hungary okay yeah in terms of the sugar or the salt settling down I would also say that this salt smoothie and the sweet cheeks I always shake them before I use them just to make sure that they have oh that one yeah, yeah for sure yeah that while she's looking at the question so let's go through a couple of things that I know you might be experiencing that you can share with your clients as well when it comes to phenomenal you need a tiny pin to puncture the, the you know the, the orifice I don't have one. so that it squeeze any tiny pin safety pin whatever I actually have a little pin made for that now like that I found um, and, and then that'll help it squeeze out. And if you feel it's too firm because it was really cold where it was sitting, warm it up. Like take your tube and do this, right? Yeah. And the, yeah, and the massage and things like that, not a big deal. But the pin is what's going to help it come out on that very first squeeze out. And then, like Catherine was saying, the salt smoothie or smoothie and, uh, and uh, sweet cheeks, shake them. Shake them first so that it gets all blended up again so that you don't get liquid. Mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. And it's the same with phenomenal. If it's sitting in a very hot place and it got melted, you need to, you know, massage it so that it all blends again and even put it in a re refrigerator for a few minutes just to solidify it. 
because as soon as you you know as soon as you put phenomenal on your fingers and you touch it it all becomes oil that's because every like the shea butter just becomes its natural form again all of it okay her her comment uh, it's not hard to understand she says no no not my computer it has been in the other patch okay. you mean like I, I don't know what you're asking Lori. i'm not sure what you're saying i apologize and that's front puddle that she's talking about. yes mm -hmm. Someone is typing one more. <laughs> oh, <laughs> not, not a problem, Lori. Don't don't worry. Not not a problem. If you if you you know want if you have more clarity, feel free to email us. We'll we'll get to the bottom of whatever whatever you're trying to share with us. Not a problem. I think that's it. Oh. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. I want to thank everybody. Yes. I just have one couple of closing remarks, just uh, more housekeeping. So I know a lot of you always ask about the webinars. They are available also if you go into our Instagram account and the link at the top, which is the bio, it says Linktree. If you click on that link, you'll see there's free webinars where you could click and they're all there. And you can pick any anyone that you want that you may have missed or not sure uh, you saw. They're all there for anyone to see. So all of these webinars, the minute we close, they're housed there. And two, um, this is the last webinar for August. Uh, we're taking a little bit of a break, and we'll come back uh, early September to resume our Wednesdays, uh, one with Lena, one with Catherine, but always together. So that's it. So if you don't see What's any invitation. Our Instagram handle? Our Instagram oh, handle is Alexandria Professional. Hang on. Here it is. That means you're not following us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what's up with that? <laughs> yes, please follow us, and then it's all there. Um, there's quite a bit of information in that link. Um, so aside from webinars, but those are popular. So I just I'm just sharing. We had someone call in yesterday and ask. So I like to send people there because it's easy I'm for all. I'm glad you are now. <laughs> um, so again, if you don't see anything from us for the next couple of weeks, don't be worried. Um, so is it a closed group on Facebook? Our support group is a closed group. Yes. And on the Instagram that she's talking about where you can get all of this stuff, these webinars, if it's a webinar on technique, you won't find it there. Those are very private and exclusive to AP. All of our other webinars are information sharing for what's really good that we can do with our customers and, and learn more of. And we keep that open because we hope that more people, as they see your comments to us and us sharing, that they feel that's the company I want to do business with for my clients. Yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Catherine. Thank you thank again you. for a great presentation. Love you all. See you next time.